big news. So I have been holding on to this for about two months now. I found out two months ago and I couldn't share it, but now I can. I will actually... Hi everyone! So usually after I come home from church, I just want to take a nap. But I have so much work to do that we are not going to do that. Instead, I am going to change my clothes, meal prep, and then also get ready for my work week. Sunday nights are difficult because I have so much I need to do and I have to prepare for my entire week. And honestly, as a teacher, I don't get to just relax my entire weekend because there's always something I can work on or prepare for or even grade. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna change into comfier clothes. Okay, grab this. I need to clean my closet. But I'll do that when I eventually move because I will be moving soon and I figure I'll just reorganize everything and have a fresh new start when I move. Yay, leggings! I also wipe my makeup off immediately when I come home if I'm not going out anymore. And it's Sunday night, so I'm not going out anymore. Just gonna soak this on my eyes. So Sundays are always my meal prep days, but then I also have to cook dinner. I wish I could eat the same thing every day all the time, but I can't and I always need some variety. Every Sunday I usually cook two different meals, but here's HelloFresh to the rescue. HelloFresh is fun and so easy to make because they package everything in a really simple way and they provide the recipes for you. All you need is like a frying pan, salt and pepper, and some oil, and pretty much they give everything else to you. I decided to go with the pineapple poblano beef tacos out of the three recipes that I chose because this one only takes 20 minutes which means I'll have way more time for the rest of my Sunday night routine. Yay! So first I wash and chop up all the veggies that they gave me. I honestly can't chop all of my veggies to be the same size. Julian? Is that what it's called when you dice up veggies? I took home ec in middle school and high school, but I can't remember. Anyway, then I fry some of the veggies and cook up my meat. Then I prepare the pineapple salsa. They also suggested that I add the pineapple juice to my meat for a tang and oh man, it made my meat so juicy. But of course if you can't have meat, they have non-meat options too. I warm up the tortillas and assemble everything in a container. This honestly was enough to fill up three containers for myself. Look how delicious these beef tacos are. Use code MAYALEEX80 and get $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Honestly, it's delicious food and the coupon code makes it so affordable. Jump on it now because I have no idea when it's going to be taken away. But $80 off is a good deal. I love food. Cookies? No. I store my eye cream in the fridge. And it makes it feel super cool. Okay. I also want to make some watermelon juice. So here's how you do it. Blender. Sliced watermelon. Oh, that might have been too big. Okay. okay, so my meal prep is done. I have washed all my dishes. Mm. And this is my dessert. It's not really a smoothie, it's more like just a juice, but it's delicious. Next, I prepare my snack by washing these berries so that I don't have to worry about it in the morning. Then I realize I need to change my water filter, so then I take the next 15 minutes to do that. Okay. 
one of the first things that I try to work on are my videos and so I try to get as much done as possible on Sundays even though I usually post Sunday mornings I'll work on videos for the following week just in case throughout the week I have a lot going on then I don't feel so pressured to have to get it done after a long day of work this is me also looking at a bunch of homes. My next video will feature another smoothie. That's me, hello. So I have been holding on to this for about two months now. I found out two months ago and I couldn't share it, but now I can. I will actually be moving to third grade. So after May, I will no longer be a fifth grade teacher. I will be a third grade teacher. I am excited and at first, I had a hard time processing it because change is always difficult. This was my second year of teaching fifth grade and I felt like I finally got into the groove of things. I finally knew my curriculum really well. And then now I'm kind of starting over and that's just how the teacher life is where you will be moved based on the needs of the students and the needs of the school. And so I talked to my principal and we talked it out about how it's actually really good for me to move around to different grades because that's how you get the most experience and that's how you get to know how how kids learn at different ages so I'm excited but it is different this summer I'll be preparing a completely different curriculum and I'll be teaching a different set of kids where I'm going to have to shift my mindset and remember that they are much younger now and so my expectations will have to just shift so yeah I'm going to be a third grade teacher okay well first I need my backpack I'm gonna grab my text Okay, so first I like to plan out my work week in terms of what meetings I have, what workouts I want to do, and if I have time to hang out with some of my friends and grab dinner. And I always use an erasable pen. I bought these on Amazon and they are a lifesaver. Plans change or sometimes I'm way too tired. <laughs> so in terms of my workout, I try to work out three to four times a week. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Last week, I only had time to work out twice. And instead of, you know, feeling bad about it, it's more of like, okay, well, I had more time to hang out with my friends. And so that's something to be happy about. Okay, I'm ready for next week. Pretty much. Moving on to teaching. Okay, so when it comes to teaching, I usually plan my writing and my math and then grammar I usually do while I'm at work. I'll think about it in the morning in terms of how I want the week to look. But writing first because it doesn't come naturally to me. I know how to write, but writing I need to know where my kids are and then what I need to teach in order for them to get to where they need to be. So of course they're not writing college type papers, which are the type of papers I know how to write. And so I have this textbook and I went to a workshop over the summer for it but it is scripted so I look through it and I figure out you know what do I want to keep what do I want to take out and what kind of mini lessons do I want to have with my students to prepare them for the writing lesson the next piece we'll be writing are research papers research papers are huge and my students need to know how to write one and the biggest thing that I have learned is that they learn through examples lots and lots of examples in this textbook they also mentioned the girl Mayala and I actually have that book let me go get it it's her right here and then then we'll get to it. The biggest thing also that this textbook has taught me about writing, but it can be applied to any teacher in any subject, is compliment your students before you critique them. Compliment them on what they're doing well so that they don't just automatically hear like you need to work on this and that and that and then they feel like, oh, I'm not a good writer then. You know, compliment them and praise them on what they're doing well. Like, wow, I can't believe that you were able to put so much of your voice into this paper. Like, I can hear that it's yours. Now, let's smooth it out and make sure that your transition Positions are happening and all of that. Did I sound like a teacher there? I sure hope so. Okay. I also like to take off my Apple Watch when I am done. Okay, so I read over the lesson and I'm really excited to be able to start this new unit with my students. And then for math, right now we're just continuing chapter 10, which is on the customary units of measurement and then the metric system. So now that I am done planning out my week, now it's time for me to just kind of relax. So my face is already clean. I am in comfy clothes and 
now I just want to watch New Girl. You guys, so my boyfriend got me these AirPods and I'm literally becoming the person that I said I would never become. They are actually really good. I really like them. I mean, I feel like all of these products, you don't need them. They just make your life easier. Okay, let's watch some new girl. Back into your little pockets you go. Now, final thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to spend time with God by reading the Bible and then I also read a little bit of my book. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'm reading this book called When Sinners Say I Do and it's just basically like a marriage book talking about how we're all imperfect people. You know, if you get married, you're basically two imperfect people under one house and so just kind of dealing with all of that to prepare my mind for what is to hopefully come. I hope you liked my Sunday night routine. I I do feel like Sunday nights I get a little sad because the weekend is over and you kind of work towards the weekend and then this is the end of it. But just remember that Mondays are a new beginning. It's an opportunity for brand new experiences to come and it's a time for you to hopefully encounter new people, new experiences, and just see how God is working in your life in a new week. Okay. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.